friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. You are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. And for this video, I wanted to do my July book haul, but it's also going to be my birthday book haul as well. So I have some books in here that I have bought, some that I have received either from book boxes or just from giveaways. Um, I have some in here that were gifted to me and then a lot of these were also gifted to me for my birthday. So yeah, there's a lot in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So that way this doesn't take too long. So the first book I have here is Girl, Serpent, and Thorn by Melissa Bashar-Doust. This was in the May Fairy Loot box that I received. I really like this edition. I'm definitely excited to check this out. I know it's kind of like a Sleeping Beauty almost retelling, so I'm intrigued to see what they do with that. Alright, so the next two books were the books I received in the June Fairy Loot box. So it was a two book box for that month and I received a copy of The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. So it is so beautiful. I wasn't expecting to get this book. I knew they said it was a book that was coming out in 2021 um, because this did get pushed back a year. But I'm so excited to have this and check it out because I've been really wanting to read this. It sounds so good and honestly this cover is just really, really beautiful. So I'm super excited. And then the second book we received was Forest of Souls by Laura M. Lee. I'm really excited to read this one as well because... It sounds like it's something with like superpowers or a power and like she has to basically like train the power to, in order to master it or something like that. So I'm really intrigued to, to see what this will entail. All right, the next book is one I've gotten and I already read. It was Love Creekwood by Becky Albertalli. This is a novella that takes place in the Simon verse. It takes place after Love Simon and Leah on the offbeat. It takes place in email form so uh it's emails between leah and abby and simon and blue and then all of them and their friend group as they're in college so they're trying to keep up with each other stay in touch like get, make sure everything's okay with each other um this was really adorable i loved it it was a nice like throwback nostalgic thing to bring you back into the simon verse so i definitely enjoyed it and i'm so glad i bought it the next thing i have is you should see me in a crown by leah johnson this cover is so adorable and it honestly sounds like a super adorable premise i've started it so far i like it so definitely uh looking forward to finishing it the next book i grabbed was clap when you land by elizabeth Acevedo. i actually won this in a giveaway on twitter i believe and this is the uk cover and i actually like this better than the original cover so i'm really excited to have this and then I also got another Elizabeth Acevedo book, and that is The Poet X. Um, I got this for my friend Chanel from Chanel Time, so thank you so much, Chanel, for this. I now have no excuse not to read any Elizabeth Acevedo's books, especially because you'll see later in this haul that I got another one of her books from a friend for my birthday. Um, so I'm really excited to check this one out as well. Right, the next one I bought because of Chanel, because I know this is one of her favorite books, and it is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I've never read a Victoria Schwab book before, so I figured since this is the year that I'm really taking chances on authors, I would take this chance and check her out as well. 
All right, so the next one I did grab was Beach Read by Emily Henry. I have heard so many people rave about this book, so I don't really dive into adult romance much. Uh, if I do, it's like indie and it's on my Kindle, but I figured I would try and give a chance to some of the popular romances I've seen going around, and this was definitely one of them. Another one was Get a Life Chloe Brown, and I really liked that one, so I thought I would give this one a chance as well. And I actually really like this cover, and the premise sounds really interesting, so... The next three books I bought, honestly today, as I'm the day that I'm filming this, uh, the first one I got was Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bear, Baron, Baron, Baron. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. This sounds so intriguing. My friend Cecilia from Cecilia Reads, she, I'm pretty sure, enjoyed this book, so it made me want to buy it more just because it sounded so cool and interesting. And the girl is black, and I thought it was like such a pretty color and I love when there's a black girl on the cover so yeah I'm excited to dive into this and see what's happening the next book I got isn't really a surprise it shouldn't be a surprise unless you're new here then but I got The Damned by Renee Audier. Oh my gosh, this is the sequel to The Beautiful. I'm so excited, but I'm also really nervous to open this, but I know I'm gonna probably get to it sooner rather than later. I did wanna try and reread The Beautiful before I read this, but that kind of fell through because I was just really stressed out. But I might try and do it and then open this up. I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to do it. But I know I'm definitely going to get to this as soon as I can. And then the next book I got was I'll Be The One by Lila Lee. This one is super cute. It's like about a girl who wants to break into the entertainment business. And she does anything she can to do it. She like strives and puts in so much effort and everything. And that's pretty much all I know about it. But it sounds like a, an adorable story. And I definitely want to uh check it out so we're moving on to birthday gifts now these two i did buy myself but my friend jessica from jessica nicole dickerson sent me some money to buy books with so i'm so grateful for her for doing that and the books that i got were truth witch by susan dennard this has been on my wish list for a while and it was only $4, so I figured why not go ahead and grab it now. It sounds really interesting, and I don't know, I just, I've been in a fantasy kick this year, so I figured why not feed that habit. And then the next book I grabbed was A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I've heard so many good things about this story, and so I figured now would be a good time to get it. I love mystery thrillers, especially when there's a good murder in it, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it if this is as good as everybody says it is. So next book I received was Supernova by Marissa Meyer. I received this from my very, very good friend Carrie from Carrie the Book Bell. I love her so much. You should definitely check out her channel if you can. This is the last book in the Renegades trilogy. I still need to read the, the second one, but it is on my TBR. But I'm excited to have this one because now it's complete and I can just hop into the last one whenever I get a chance to finish the second one. So I'm definitely excited to have this. Next book I grabbed was A Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. This was given to me by my friend Amber from Amber and O'Face. You should check out their channel because they make such awesome content. And they're just an adorable human being and I love them. But I did try and read this over the spring, and I wasn't really a big fan, but I also was slumping really, really hard during that time. So I'm excited to have a physical copy because I'm definitely going to try and reread this at some point this year because I want to give it a chance when I'm not, like, slumping. You know? Alright, the next the gifts were giving to me by my friend Allie from Allie with Books. I adore her. She makes such awesome content, so you should definitely check out her channel, too. I'm gonna link all of the people who gave me things in the description down below so you can check out their channels because they make such awesome content and their videos are some of my faves. Um, so Allie got me King of Scars by Liga Verdugo, which I am so thankful for, especially because uh, this basically completes my collection of the Grishaverse books. I still needed to get the last book in the Grishaverse trilogy, 
but I've already read it so I'm not in a huge rush rush to get it right now but I'm so excited to have this because I just need to read Crooked Kingdom and then I can hop into this straight away and basically be caught up. Plus, I really love Nikolai, so I'm excited to get to this and see what he's up to. The next book Ali got me was Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. This sounded like a really cool sci-fi and the cover honestly is really gorgeous. Like I love the colors on it. So I'm really excited to read this all right the next thing ali got me was this cute little book sleeve it has slots on it and i adore it so much so definitely gonna be using this i have a big one that i can use for my card covers but i'm excited to have this one so i can use it for my paperbacks and it won't be like su super big and they won't get like squished or anything okay we're like halfway there so Next two books were given to me by my friend Haley from Haley Reads. She doesn't really make videos anymore because she's out there studying to become a doctor, which I know she will definitely succeed in doing. And so I love her so much for doing this, and I'm so grateful to have met her through booktube and just ha become such good friends with her. But she got me See All the Stars by Kit Frick and uh aquacorn cove by katie o'neill i'm definitely excited to read both of these especially aquacorn cove because i know it's going to be adorable so thank you so much Haley. the next book i received is lady smoke by laura sebastian so i don't know who gave this to me it did not come with a note so if you did send this to me please let me know i would love to thank you because i'm very 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 grateful for you for getting me anything but this is the sequel to ash princess so i'm definitely looking forward to getting to this all right so the next book i received is allegedly by tiffany d jackson i got this from jacqueline so thank you so much for getting me this i know this is gonna wreck me <laughs> because the content is about like a girl whose baby died and she's being charged with the murder um and so you're kind of looking back at her life leading up to that moment, I believe. And so I know it's gonna wreck me, but it sounds like it's gonna be super good. And I've heard good things about the story and just Tiffany Jackson's writing overall. So yeah, I'm excited. The next one I received from my friend Rain from, I think her channel is Brews and Binds. But uh, she got me Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson as well. And this is also gonna wreck me, I already know it, but I've also heard such good things about it, so I know I definitely need to read it, and I'm just so excited to have it now, because, yeah. The next book I received was from my very, very good friend Michelle from Michelle Reads YA. Definitely check out her channel as well. She's one of my favorite booktube friends that I've made on this site, in this community. She's so funny, and yeah, I just love her. She got me the way i used to be by amber smith i've heard such good things about this book especially from emma books she talks about how she loves i think this book or the other book or at least just this author and uh she also talked about how she cried a lot so i already expect to be wrecked as well from this so yeah the next book i received was with a fire on high by elizabeth acevedo i received this from my friend kate from chapter kate uh, I love them so much. You should definitely check out their channel because Kate just makes such great content and they do so much for the community. So thank you so much. I'm excited to get to this. This is the last Elizabeth Acevedo book that I have that I need to read. So now I have no excuse not to read any of her books anymore because they're all literally in my possession now. The next book I received was from Cecilia from Cecilia Reads who is one of the black hotties. I think she's stabby hottie because of reasons <laughs> you'll have to ask her if she wants to tell you but yeah she's a stabby hottie i love her i've loved getting to know her uh and i'm so grateful for her for getting me this book she got me felix ever after by case in a calendar i definitely want to do better about reading more diverse queer books so from the synopsis i was definitely interested in reading this and i loved the cover so much so I'm so excited to get to this and to read it because I feel like I'm gonna like it. And I've already started hearing such good things about it too, so looking forward to it. Next book I received was The Revolution of Bertie Randolph by Brandy Colbert. I received this 
from my friend Blair. I can't think of her channel name right now, but I'm gonna link it down below. I'm so grateful for this. Thank you, Blair. I definitely have wanted to read this for a while since it came out, so I'm excited to have it now on my shelves so I can just pick it up and read it when I get to it. But yeah, I'm I'm so excited to have all of these black books because <laughs> I definitely, definitely just want to read more and more black authors this year. Next book I have is Quiet Girl in a Noisy World by Debbie Tung. I've heard such good things about this. I've heard a lot of people say they've related to this so much, especially if they're an introvert, and I am definitely an introvert. I'm a hardcore introvert, so I'm so excited to check this out and see how much I'm gonna like it. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this and relate to it so hard and probably cry maybe a little bit. So I'm just super excited to, for when I can make that happen. The last book. <laughs> so the last book I received was for my friend Kat from For the Love of Books. You should definitely check out her channel too. She makes amazing, amazing content. And the book she gave me was The Magnolia Sword a Ballad of Mulan by Sherry Thomas. I've been wanting this book since it came out, I think last year, and I just haven't gotten around to getting it, but I'm so, so excited to read this. I am such a big fan of Mulan. It's my favorite movie, she's my favorite princess, and I just like love the message that movie gives. So I am so excited to read this, and yeah. <laughs> Alright, that was my July slash birthday haul. Hopefully you all enjoyed seeing all of these books I received. Thank you to everybody who sent me books, wished me a happy birthday, just sent me any kind of joy at any point on my birthday and around my birthday and just this month in general. I really, really appreciated it, especially after just how hard last month was, like coming into this month with so, with so much love surrounding me. It just... <sighs> made me feel so many things and I'm not gonna cry but just know that I'm very very grateful for all of you who watch my content and support me anyways if you like the video please like it down below if you have any comments on any of the books I pulled whether you think I should read one of these sooner rather than later let me know whether you liked any of these didn't like them whatever please definitely comment them down below if you're not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below i'm stealing the idea from my friend sylvia from wish fulfillment and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds <laughs>